Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. This is a Coffee Creek watershed. It is part of many tributaries that go into the greater Lake Michigan watershed. It is experiencing many problems right now, and we want to keep it clean for boats and animal life. There are many ways to clean up the Lake Michigan watershed, and we will explore those today, along with the many problems it experiences. This is the Lake Michigan watershed. Our area is located at the extreme south end in the Little Calumet Galeon watershed. Locally, we experience construction and agricultural runoff, as well as point source pollution from local mills. Surrounding communities contribute animal waste and stormwater runoff from impervious surfaces. This is a problem. When people leave their dog poop here and it gets into Lake Michigan, there's more microbes in this than any other species of mammal on this planet. That's right, dogs, you're the problem. This leaks E. coli into the lake and as we know, we don't want to swim in no E. coli-filled lake. That's nasty. Another form of pollution entering Lake Michigan comes from industrial mills like those smokestacks. These mills are called point source pollution and can be traced back to a single entity. Industries in East Chicago release zinc, manganese, and carcinogens like lead into Lake Michigan watershed. This is a stormwater drain. It collects lots of water from impervious surfaces. Water then takes with it the oil and other runoff from vehicles. That water then goes directly into Lake Michigan. That's a problem. Also, when there is large amounts of water, the sewers pour into the, the storm water and then pour into Lake Michigan. That's right, sewers, the stuff you poop in. This is where water along with bacteria, E. coli, and a lot of other stuff enter Lake Michigan. These are all non-point source pollution, like your dog poop that we picked up earlier. This is why you need to clean up after yourselves, because the water comes directly here out into Lake Michigan. It's from air... Just go, just go, keep going. That creek that we just showed you flows into Lake Michigan, where Chesterton and surrounding communities get their drinking water. So stop polluting and do what you can to help the watershed. No. And then pet the dog. It's important to pick up your dog's waste. The important step after picking up dog poop is disposing of it properly like in a garbage can. See why? It is important because if you don't pick it up, it leaks into the watershed and eventually makes it to Lake Michigan. This is a silt fence. Silt fences are used in construction sites to slow down water, allowing sediment to settle and not enter the waterways. This is a good thing done in subdivisions and other construction sites. This is another great idea. Construction sites use these to filter out cigarette butts and other litter from getting in the stormwater sewer. When there is lots of stormwater and the sanitation plant does not have the capacity to clean it all, sanitary and stormwater sewers merge to form combined sewer overflows, which cause human waste to flow directly into waterways. So when there are heavy rains, be conscious of your water usage at home to prevent combined sewer overflows. Simple measures like picking up dog waste and being considerate of water usage during rain events help keep our beautiful watershed healthy. And it's thanks to concerned citizens like these, Jessica and Mike, cleaning up the watershed that we have places like this, the Indiana Dunes State Park, where people can come swim in clean waters. 